Vidnami video scripts. Hey everybody, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how you can use all of the video script options inside of the Vidnami software. It's very easy to use and by knowing where things are, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's get started with the video script tutorial. We're logged into Vidnami and the first thing we need to do is choose the kind of video that we would like to create. So we're gonna create a content video and from here, we need to choose a template. Now you can see some are YouTube size and some of the square videos which are better for other social media platforms such as Facebook. Now I'm gonna choose this vivid orange because it best represents my brand and this is the article from which I've taken the video script. So we're gonna click on this, we're gonna use this template. I'm gonna give my video a name, so I'm gonna call this review video uh, example. And then I've got my script here. This is basically just part of my blog post and I'm gonna copy that and paste that in here. Now we can see here, automatically it's very close together. So we wanna have a space. So what I'll tend to do is I'll hit return and this space will then mean that this text is on its own individual slide. So sometimes if your sentences are very long, it may be too much text to have on one particular slide. So it's just a case of going through and you know hitting enter. And if you decide, for example, that one sentence is too long, so we can then maybe just do it like this. So we can have one sentence, but we have a space between, so that's gonna put it onto different slides. So again, this is just a very simple process. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, one second, so the longer the script you have, and then I'm gonna add a call to action to learn more about this topic. Click the link in the description. I'm gonna have to make sure I spell this correctly. Click the link in the description to read our article. That'll do for now. And then we'll hit create scenes. And now the software is going to go, it's gonna read our text, and it's gonna pick specific words or phrases from each sentence and then cho automatically choose a background image. So in this case, it chose review videos. So that's fine. Sometimes, occasionally, as we'll see as we go through this process, it chooses unusual text or words that you don't really need to highlight. So you're gonna to have to play around with this. So it's got, we've got clips and we've got images. Now if I slip, switch to images, it's gonna give us a bunch of stock images that we can, that the software will go and search for based on which word I click. Now for this one, I'm gonna actually leave the image and we'll leave it as is. If we want to move this text around, we can click on this and we can move it to the bottom. I think that looks better. So let's scroll down a little bit to the second one. And then you can see here various products and it's got a very random thing there. So I don't need to um, do that. So I'm just gonna choose, I'm actually going to click on that. Now this little link here, this automatically takes the scene, whether it's an image or a video from the previous scene, and it automatically links it, and I think this is fine. You don't always need to change the scene or the image on each individual slide, because it'll be too much for the viewer. You may wanna leave certain slides or images for maybe two or three scenes, maybe three scenes max, I think, and then you wanna change it. So let's come down here to the next one. What have we got here? I think we're gonna go with a uh, three max. And I'm gonna decide that I don't need to highlight this word, so I will remove the bold. And then we'll come down here. So the best way to understand how a product works, I don't need this. So I'm gonna, how a product works. In this case, let's italicize it, so it's a little bit different. Um, we'll move it to the bottom. The best way to understand how a product works, so let's just put, let's switch to images and let's click works and let's see if any of the images that are recommended to us are any good it might take a little while for that to load up okay so we've got a few images here so let's click on this one and it will automatically put it in here and to me this is fine this is just an image this is complete well, actually is it yes it's an image and it kind of zooms in so that's fine and i'm also going to does it kind of come across let's check yeah i think it's automatically linked through and the available features. I'm gonna get rid of the word available and I'm not gonna italicize that. And what's the next one? Before making a purchase, so let's get rid of that. We'll remove the bold, let's go back and read that. 
and so let's go back. The best way to understand how a product works and the available features before making a purchase, comma, is by finding a few reviews. And again, you kind of get the process. So you can change out the images, you can change out the uh, clips, you can link them together, you can move where the text is shown, you can decide whether to underline it, italicize it, or bolden it. You can decide to zoom in, or you can zoom out, so it kind of starts in and zooms out. It's entirely up to you, or you can have none. That's entirely up to you as well. And if you want to adjust the background image, you can click on this and you can kind of do this. So it's pretty good and it's very, very simple to use as you can see. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna go through and make the rest of these scenes and I'll see you in two secs. Okay, so I've been through and finished off the script. I've added some images and clips that I liked from Vietnamese stock. And a couple of extra things that I'd like to mention as well. You've got these two options up here if you want to play around with how things look. You click on styles, you can actually change the colouring. Now when you choose your template, you should choose your template with the colouring that you want in mind. So that you don't have to kind of play around with this. But if you wanted to, you can change font sizes, text colours, bold colours and all of that stuff. Layouts um, is basically similar to this thing here and the media brings you back to the default setting as well. And there's one option here, you can hide the media if you want to, so you can remove the image as well, um, if that's something that you want to do. Now, once you are good to go, you have the option to add voice tracks to your video, but I'm gonna cover that in a separate video because that requires its own video because there are lots of intricacies in how you can do this poorly or how you can do this well. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to play around with the scripts with Vidnami. You either write a script from scratch, you can copy and paste a blog post or part of a blog post, it's entirely up to you. And then you just play around with it highlight certain words, move the text around, choose the images and videos from their stock, and you'll have a video that looks really, really good and flows very well together. So I'll speak to you in another video when it comes to the audios. If you'd like to check out Vidnami, there is a link below this video to a review, and also you can try it out for seven days. There are different ways you can get it. You don't have to buy it straight away, but it's really, really great software. It's web-based and it works really well. And that's the end of my video. Any questions, let me know, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right-hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.